normalclass.co.uk. So here is my cleaned and disinfected gerbil cage. So I'm going to remove the lid and then we can start adding substrate and bedding. So in the bottom of the gerbil cage, you're going to start adding some wood shavings. These shavings are not made from pine or cedar trees. Part of the way through filling the base of the cage, I'm going to add things like household items, toilet rolls, egg boxes. These will provide areas for the gerbils to discover and sleep in. Gerbils like to dig and bury down, so this is why we're filling it, this bottom of the cage with lots and lots of substrate. Then on the top of that, I'm going to add some hay. The hay will provide the gerbils with the bedding material and also they might eat some of it. The next step is now to add the fixtures and fittings. I'm going to attach a wheel to the side of the cage. Then I'm going to place the lid back on the cage. And the final items to add to the enclosure some animal food and a bowl, a water bottle. When fitting the water bottle, make sure it's placed at a height where the gerbil can reach it. And one more box for further enrichment. My final step is now to secure the cage. So this cage is now ready for the gerbil to be introduced. We can move this now to a safe place. I've enjoyed demonstrating the preparing of a gerbil cage. Let's summarise the key points. You have seen me laying down the substrate materials ready for the gerbil and placing fittings. I hope you have gained an insight into why enrichment is so important for a gerbil living in captivity. Finally, I secured the cage ready for the introduction of the gerbil.